up. Blue is typical. I know, I know. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. GG. Here. I like to call it. Weight flow. A little BMX. What's up, Salmon Nation? Hey, we're gonna do some ski juring. Ski what? Ski juring. Yeah, you know, it's like Norwegian or whatever. Uh, dude, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you get pulled by the dog. I think actually you got pulled by a horse. It doesn't matter. You just got to get pulled by an animal. Quadruped. Four legs. One, two, three, four. I think I can still count. I should be able to. I'm a teacher. But um, yeah, and here is my quadruped. Her name is Baloo, and she's shaking because she's so stoked. She's staying stoked in Michigan. You just watch this. Girl, good girl. So Blue's an Alaskan Husky from Nature's Kennel up in the UP. The kind of dogs I run the Iditarod with, at least most people. Kind of a crossbreed Husky. Well, ha ha ha. I can hear. Wedgie wedgie. As you can see. During requires a little bit of a balance here. Good girl, Baloo. Good girl. Good girl, dude. Yeah. Good dog. So saying Baloo. Well, that's a husky from Nature's Kennel. And they love to run. 100 miles a day on average in the Iditarod. Obviously, they work up to it, but, whoo, yeah, come on, here you don't get quite as much exercise as skiing on your own, as you can easily see with her, but definitely can do some serious mileage as long as you don't get cold. All right, we got a bit of a hill coming here. This gets a little sketchy. But you know what? We're gonna, gee, gee, good girl. We're gonna go for it. Yep. This is what we call bombing it. Going for a big turn down here. Okay, go wrong. <laughs> nice, good girl. Good girl. Anna takes the dog. Now, I'm dog powerless. Dude, I feel so slow. You gotta be kidding me. This is a lot of work without the dog. Yeah, oh. Earn my, uh, earn my turns slightly. <laughs> Power. That's why I gotta wear the puff coat and the extra pant shell because you get cold out here if you got the dog power. I mean, I'm still soaking wet, sweaty, but uh, it's a whole different ball game with the dog. But man, food tastes better, dog sleeps better, coffee's better, beer's better. Ha, ha, straight up, straight up, ha, straight up. Good job. So we're gonna do a little bushwhack in here. And Blue's doing pretty good with our commands because we don't obviously go this way. This way is kind of out of the loop. We're gonna go straight up this hill and see if she'll do it. Yeah. Good girl. Straight up. What's up, Salmon Nation? Hey, we're here at Bass River and uh, we're gonna do a little snow bike ride. A little fat tire in the snow here. We got the salsa muck luck, the bear grease. We got Baloo with us on this one, so um, we're gonna show you a little Bass River, cause it's a good spot um, to get out and do a little winter riding. Let's go. So Baloo is typical. I know, I know, let's go. Yeah, let's go. GG, 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 G, hey, G. Good girl. Yeah, I might have to let a little air out. Uh, it's pretty good on this. Yeah, it's kind of sticky and Velcro-y today. So if you haven't been out riding lately, man, this is 
pretty good. It's kind of narrow. Be good to get it groomed up. But Bass River is one of the member trails, which I just became a member. Yeah, a member of member. And uh, so we got some good trails out here on the lake shore and get on it. Little white flow here. I like to call it white flow. Little BMX style tail slide. Woo! <laughs> it's a little more work than the normal mountain biking. But pretty killer nonetheless. And uh, Bass River is a state game area. So hunting season, you gotta be cognizant of all that and be thoughtful and respectful as we keep access to all these trails. Pretty awesome. <laughs> we'll find a deer. Hey, no. Hey. Hooked up like Velcro. So we came out and tried the Nordic ski it earlier and it was, it's like the snow consistency was kind of weird, like sticky, velcro-y. Uh, so we thought, let's just go back and get the bikes. No such thing as, whoa. What do we got? We're on the second side, you go on the first side of the loop, kind of starts and you got across the little road and uh, It's kind of windy, little, uh, not much topography to deal with, but we've been riding this trail. Funny thing is, it's the very first tra trail I ever did a action video on. It was probably 1999 or 2000. And I had a MacBook back then and just started teaching and technology director said, hey, here's a camera, we'll make a video. I'm gonna get kids making videos in school. And so my brother Bo and I took it out here and we videotaped each other riding our old uh, 26ers. And uh, it was awesome. And uh, blue. So here we are. Fast forward almost 20 years. We're doing a little Sama, Sama Jamma winter session here after we picked up a bunch of fresh snow last night right around freezing temps trail is grip grippy like velcro all right so it's a little tight and i am experiencing a 27.5 big bike versus the 26er extra small especially on like a ribbon of a trail you really have to concentrate and the big bike does make it the minute you get off this little ribbon you sink in so it makes it a challenge but it also turns up uh, I wouldn't say this is the most I mean I love this trail because it's our local trail but uh, it's not the most exciting dirt trail Take some air out of the tires back there. It's working a little better. Whoa, tell you the tree. Yeah. Made for the uh, racing two tracks of North America. But pretty epic out here. Well, just another beautiful day in the state of Michigan. Hit that subscribe or like button for us. Helps us on the YouTube front. I'm gonna hit the hot tub here. That's a proper way to end yourself a Sama, stay in Stoke to Michigan kind of day. See you next time. Thanks for watching.